And we're back with the screen team. It's here on today's talk, 930 KWOC and 93.3 FM. We want to thank our sponsors, Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next Yay. door to us. Golf clap. Yes. yes thank you, yes. guys. I want a ring. <laughs> 33 Productions and also Popper Bluff Drywall. Our next uh, movie we're going to be talking about is Fight Club. This one is a movie that came out back in uh, 1999. It was directed by David Fincher. 1999. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I didn't mean to interrupt you. That just no. <laughs> wow. It just shows how old we I all are. I was a junior, uh, junior in high school. Watching movies. Yeah, you were junior in high school. Yeah. Wow. I was like in college, man. Wow. Jeez, that's crazy. Man, that's sad. Okay. Anyway, I was yeah. working. <laughs> you were at a desk. I was in a factory. <laughs> This movie was directed by David Fincher, who uh, did uh, Gone Girl, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. And Seven. And Seven. Yeah, he's done a yeah, lot of great movies. He's an incredible Social director. Network. He's a big award-winning director. Oh, that, that's an awesome movie. Which anyway, one? Girl with a Dragon, Dragon Tattoo. Tattoo. Oh, yeah. Brutal. Yeah. Well, the American. American, yeah. not the Swedish or whatever yeah. the other one. Swedish version is good, Swedish too, man. pretty wild. Good yeah, meatballs. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the film stars Edward Norton, Brad Pitt, and Helate, uh, Helena Bottom Carter. Uh Michael, what'd you think about this film? Oh, I love that movie. It's one of those movies I could still remember where I was <laughs> when I first saw it. I was my brothers and I had a house back in my uh, hometown, Porterville, California, and we uh, we rented it. It's uh, apparently from what I under, I'm not trying to jump, but I'm going back why we mm-hmm. rented it instead of seeing theater. It didn't do well in theater. No, it didn't. It, it's one of those movies like I believe, like Dumb and Dumber, that did really well on DVD. So that's yeah. probably why we rented it. Um, I remember watching it and uh, absolutely was amazed by the, the storytelling. And it's very David Fincher if you watch it. Um, but overall, I mean, I thought it was uh, an excellent movie, uh, a very, very dark movie. I love the fact that uh, Edward Norton's character, I don't think, has a name in it. I no, think he it's, doesn't. yeah, he's unnamed to go through. He's like, well, it's typical, you know. He's a narrator uh, for the Yeah, column. the white collared crowd that's you know fed up with their life and Mm -hmm. and basically it's kind of a a interesting twist you find out through it but um so do you remember how you felt the first time you watched it were you like oh this is the greatest movie ever were you confused were um well no i don't remember finding myself confused Mm -hmm. i remember really enjoying the movie and the little things like the fact that dirt and you know makes soap and that's kind of a funny part in fact that meatloaf was in it was i know right <laughs> and they and i just read a thing the other day they actually uh brad and uh edward norton uh, they took soap making classes for a while did they no really? I, know that. I was like when like steven spielberg with the cast of saving private ryan made him take like a was it a t- two camp, weeks yeah, out in boot yeah. camp to really know what it was like because it, right. it helps them in a performance to understand but anyway I, uh yeah. not getting off on a tangent <laughs> but i want you to hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> Sorry, what? But what? you hit me in the ear. Which you told me this. Remember? Well, I read it on IMDb. Oh, I had, well, that's the very that's the data. Okay. That's probably accurate. Uh, but yeah, apparently what, what you told me was, was that was, was unscripted, right? Yeah, Fincher told uh, Norton to to do that. And yeah, it wasn't in the script and. Edward Ord, and that was, was and that was Brad Pitt's like normal reaction. Like, what are you? You know, you hit me in the ear. You hit me in the ear. Man. Can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. As as you guys being actors, how hard is that to, you know, if someone does something you know unscripted like that? I mean, because if that well, was it, me, I'd be like, what the? That what happened? You know what experienced I mean? actors are trained in cinema to know to never stop until you hear the director. Gotcha. Cut. Yeah. If you keep, gotcha. if you, if something happens, you keep going because the reason why he's not saying cut is because he may want to see some magic come out of that. Which commonly, as we we're talking about on break, that happens. You know, unscripted yeah. things, and you get some of the best cinema. Godfather with, uh, um, you know, Vito at the end with uh, Michael Corleone's son in the garden. Where, yeah, where they're it's all improv. They yeah. that, they got the camera and just let him run. You know, uh, some of the best stuff comes out that way. So, right. um. You know that that's at least my experience with it, and and I, but it's different with stage because when you have a performance, you cannot stop. You can't yeah, say, yeah, that's what "Let's do it again." Say. Can right. you say that line say again for me? More you just keep way, going. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. actors should be experienced. Actors will be trained to know to keep that going until exact, they, keep going until you are told by your boss to stop. Yeah, right. You either so, stop or the scenes revolve, exactly. resolved. Like, exactly. Especially in live theater. Because they can do as many takes as they want, so who cares if you keep going? You know, yeah. I mean, you, it, for all you know, you can add stuff in later and it, that's your award-winning scene. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Jamie, what did you think about this film? I, I really liked it, and I actually did see it in the theater when it came out. <laughs> what, were you, what were your thoughts? Were you were you blown away by it? Were you confused? I wonder what the soap smells like. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like Dove, Iver Springs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they sold it at you know the, the upscale places. It probably smelled pretty good. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I thought the it was a really cool movie. Um, this was around the time where, I mean. I've always paid attention to who the creatives are, mm-hmm. like the directors and the writers and, and things like that. And so I was familiar enough with Fincher's name that I was like, I'm going to see this because it's got Brad Pitt and North. You know, it had people of note in it, of course. And, um, yeah. But, uh, I yeah, I wanted to see it again, you know. <laughs> and uh, maybe that would have helped if I went to see it again. It stayed in the theater a little longer. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. David no, calls but, you. And... But, uh, yeah, but it's, it's one that, you know, when it came out on DVD, I bought the deluxe edition that's got all the extra stuff, yeah. you know, just because there's so – with Fincher's films, there's so much stuff that goes on because he does take after take after take. like, and uh, Yeah, Michael he's exactly right to, how meticulous he is. Yeah, and until he gets, gets it right, you know. Well, it's like so. going back to what we're talking about, kind of the producer part how they can change things well apparently this movie was pretty controversial like uh, i remember reading something about how D- david fincher i think he was on a panel of four directors that were they were just kind of looking at yeah. and because of his enthusiasm they chose him and well apparently he wanted to input the style of kind of a um a message of the young crowd and advertising i don't know why but there, a lot of the fights kind of thing was about that. It was, it was symbolic for that, and yeah. I guess the producers didn't like that. They thought it wouldn't do well in theater, so they actually, apparently, from what I understand, made him change a lot of stuff, or they, you know, left out a lot of stuff. So um, I don't know if that you know affected things or not, but that does play a big part. You know, you can't just have a, unfortunately, a director have, unless you're Spielberg who owns the company. Right. You know, uh, right. free well, reign. Fincher on, had a lot of power. He actually got yeah. one of the early producers fired. Did really? really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, and the whole thing with the Starbucks cups and th- uh, Starbucks was actually on board with having fun poked at them. It's so. more. It's free marketing, you know. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, because it's in like every other scene. There's a Starbucks cup. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's, I didn't know that. Uh, what just, did, did you like the film, Chris? <laughs> I, I I liked the film. I, I watched it. Uh, you know, when it had that uh, street cred, that indie cred. You know, hey, you gotta watch Fight Club. You know. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I think it was. I think it was a little overhyped for me by yeah. friends and family and stuff. So when I watched it and I was like, what's, mm-hmm. what's the big deal? You yeah. know? Um, and I watched it again recently, you know, for this review and, you know, I enjoy it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not like, Oh my God, this not is, one of your favorites. This is, <laughs> this is it, man. It, it's not one of my favorite Fincher films. Oh yeah. I mean, I think it's an excellent movie, but I, I, there's actually several others that I would, I actually think Gone Girl, I prefer, I enjoyed that yeah. over Fight Club, which is kind of odd, you know, because yeah you know there's cool fight stuff and uh i mean as far as fincher goes i like social network and i like awesome uh well it's hard man i like social network i love seven and i love gone girl those are my outstanding movies those those are my top ones but uh yeah fight club is uh is really good and and the movie was based on a book and jimmy you were telling me off mic that they're thinking about doing a a comic right uh yeah it's already in production it's got uh Chuck, you know the author of the of the book, he's involved with the script process. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Mack, a really great illustrator, he's doing the covers. That's, that's the and, first uh, time I've heard of that, and I, I'm actually I haven't read comics in years, unfortunately, but I I wouldn't mind checking one of those out. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. Stuff. Instead of making another movie, why don't you do something like that? You know, instead of <laughs> yeah, Fight Club Two. <laughs> um. I was trying to think Jason of Jason Statham. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to think of something to go along with Blood that. Blood the mechanic. I'm going to fix your car. No, Jay Cut. <laughs> Not the mechanic. Coming up after the break, we're going to do another David Fincher film. It's called Gone Girl. It's next on Today's Talk 930 KWOC.